Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you guys are doing great and staying home and being really safe in this really crazy time that's happening right now. But today, you can just snuggle up with like a one cup of tea or something and we're gonna be learning about eggshells. I'm with my little jar of eggshells is our main guest today. So basically, eggshells are like the name. It's you can be any eggshell. You just take eggshells from like leftover scrambled eggs or something, and you ground them up for multiple purposes. Now they're really good because for two reasons. One, they symbolize protection because of that. They protect the chick embryo as it's growing, so it's a symbol of protection. And also eggshells. Um, being part of the egg represents um, fertility, so it can be good during Osara rituals because the egg is a big symbol during that time, or fertility rituals. I do a fertility ritual every year for my garden and I use eggshells a lot. So that's two reasons you can sprinkle it into, you, into your spell. Now the second reason I like to use them is they're really full of calcium, that structure that like in your bones and your plants really like that calcium enrichment so i like to put these in my plants a lot i'll just sprinkle a few in in my outdoor plants i'll in a minute i will show you a outdoor protection egg ritual that you can do in your garden that also fertilizes it and also you can just sprinkle it into your garden just like if you live in an apartment or something you can also just sprinkle it in your little pots in your indoor also, you can cast them in a circle, so especially outside. Inside, you can use salt if you want, but outside, salt will kill the grass around it because the pH will be off in the water and kill the plants. So this is a better alternative because of that correspondent of protection, can it be a more eco-friendly replacement for salt outside so you pretty much treat it when you're casting a circle with salt you pretty much just replace the salt with the eggshell now i know a lot of people do not eat eggs i am not i'm just vegetarian but i'm not a big egg, egg fan like solid just egg fan anyway so you can get them either from a friend or another family member like my brother who's like eats eggs like every morning I just steal them from him and I ground them up. So I'm going to be showing you how I ground them up and how I turn the just standard egg into an eggshell. So we're going to go downstairs and grab the leftover eggshells from my brother because he's a big gym rat and he likes to have that protein. So we're going to wash the eggs. You want to make sure you're going to try to get much of the egg cell membrane out of the egg now it's really hard because it's already noon because i sleep in constantly and my brother gets up early to go to the gym so the egg shell membrane is already pretty dried so i try to re-wet it and I try to get it out as best as possible you want to get it out as much as possible because it's easier to crush up and if it's not completely dry it will um involve rot well induced so you really want to try to get as much as possible but if you can't get it all that's fine i've gotten some cell membrane left in the shell and as long as you keep it completely dry it's fine so here are all the finished eggs and i'm going to be grabbing a little plate and putting them in the microwave this pretty much just kills all the bacteria you can see i'm putting them all in there it's very hard to do with one hand and i'm going to grab the plate and open up my microwave now you want, I do about three minutes just to make, double make sure. So you can see me in the mirror. Let's see, three minutes. There they are. So while that is uh, cooking, parentheses, I like to pet my cats. You know, spend some time, you know, having a real chill time because three minutes is a long time for me. And you know, I like to contemplate about my favorite band in the whole wide world. All around, he's an outlaw loose and running, came the whisper from each lip, and he's here to do some business with a big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. 
So after contemplating the universe, I eagerly open up my fresh, dried eggs. There might be a little burnt stuff in the bottom, but that's okay. The main part is what you're worried about is killing all the bacteria. So here's me taking my mortal and pestle and crushing it up. I find it quite satisfying. It reminds me of like ASMR or something. It just really relieves some stress. So this is the jar that I use. I tried opening it, but it was hard with one hand, so what you're going to need is your jar, and an optional thing is my little buddy, Shaman the Turtle. You can bring your pet along if you want. Now we're going to be going outside, and we're going to be doing the little protection ritual that I do for my garden all the time. Ignore the orange. Now here's him chilling out. So the first step that you want to do with your garden is take the eggshell and slowly sprinkle it around your garden. Now, you can do this in any kind of garden. It can be in the ground, in a, a bed, or even in a little tiny pot. So in your head or out loud, you want to make the incantation, may these eggshells protect my garden from any harm or negativity. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. I hope this helps a lot. I feel like I use this a lot in my spell work and it's also just very satisfying to hear the cracking, especially in my mortal and pestle. Very satisfying to hear the, the crunching of the shells. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and leave a like and subscribe. We kind of just vibe here. We talk about witchcraft, green witchcraft, um, plants, and I will be getting into that interesting crystal charging video. It's just, I've been very busy with schoolwork. It's been wrapping up and I'm quite busy with that. And also we will be having a new member joining us very soon. So stay tuned for that. Bye-bye.